We're here at the HIMSS 2016 conference in Las Vegas with Shafiq Rob, he's the CIO of Hackensack. Welcome. Thank you. So, you know, when you look at the history of meaningful use, it kind of set the stage for interoperability and also trying to engage the patients, but many would say it's kind of a failure. So tell us about some of the stuff you're doing to, to really take that to the next level and engage patients in, in, in an effective way. So when we do software or technology, people always think that if this technology is usable, it's a great thing. Or people say if it's reliable, that's the best. But the software has to, to do two things. It has to be meaningful and it has to be pleasurable. So when you have that, that allows not only the customer or the patients to get engaged, but to actually use it and actually benefit from it and actually have value for it. So at, at Hackensack, we have an app that we allows us people to register uh, at any time at night or day by taking a selfie <laughs> and taking the pictures of your uh, ID and your insurance card and then the rest is easily done on the back end where the facial recognition is done and the eligibility is done. So that's the first part of the app. The second part that we are working on and with the help of Data Motion, uh, we they are our direct provider. Uh, so in in essence, we are using Data Motion for the direct cover and the fire as a payload for the protocol. Nice. So, and we are trying to make everything fire enabled. One of the things that it does, it gives the power in the hand of the patient. So the example is very simple. A patient who has a direct account can send a message to a doctor who has a direct account. That takes care of the identity of the patient. The patient can, through the app, send a direct message which has a consent in it but the consent has an expiry date, 10 days, 20 days, or I can revoke it. Third thing what it does, using the direct protocol through data motion, whenever the physician queries the data, it gives the acknowledgement to the patient. So at all time, the patient knows what's happening to his or her data. Lastly, the patient can make a request, hey, store this in some place, and it can be stored at the patient's convenience. So two aspects, one is the niceness of the data and second is that the patient is always in the control of the data so through data motions help we have been able to achieve that well and i love that you're using existing standards rather than trying to invent new standards to facilitate the patient engagement that you want you're using the existing standards of direct project of fire you know through data motion so you're 100 percent right what what is the most important thing that we are trying to do by doing this first we are participating in the Argonath project, we're participating Smart on Fire. So everything has to be standard based, not one off. <laughs> then it doesn't work, like the Bluetooth. So we, a Bluetooth can work with any device. It doesn't have to be one manufacturer than the other. Similarly, when we are doing healthcare innovation, if we stay with the present standards and we stay with the given governing body that does it, it makes it easy for people to copy. One of the goal is to make sure that everybody uses it. <laughs> Only me using it is no use, you know? No, definitely. Well, thanks for sharing your story. Thank you.